to be MMA with Jimmy Warled about a week away from his fight at UFC 212 against Luan Chagas. Yeah, man. Judo. I think it's fair to say this is probably like, as far as sort of a camp for yourself, this is about as put together as it's, as it's ever been, really. Like, you know, sometimes you've been training out of the rough house and it's been sort of you as sort of mm. the lead wolf, but now you seem to be sort of the focused athlete. Yeah, yeah. With the camp focus around yourself, what sort of difference is that making to you? Yeah, I mean, ever, ever since joining the shoot, you know, I mean, I say it's that three years I've been there, went on the four fight win streak to get me in the UFC. Obviously, I didn't perform in my first UFC fight, but everything uh, in the background, training wise, has been perfect since I joined shoot. It's the best best coaching and best uh, best team of partners and co everything it's just amazing there and uh, I've had that in place for a few years now even though I had a bad performance last time um, I feel like everything's been in place for the last few years and I've been progressing continuously and learning so I feel in a good place and, uh, and as well for this fight I felt last time I didn't feel great mentally it was a short short fight and I didn't feel great in the gym but I feel in a good place mentally for this one I've had a very long camp and uh, looking forward to it We've spoke a few times about Alexis down at shoot. What, what is it that, that that guy brings to your game? Um, whatever has. Well, no, I, I can't explain it, mate. All, all the coaches are phenomenal at shoot. The best coach I've ever worked with. And Alexis just, not just with me, but with everyone, knows how to get the best out of every fighter on his team. Um, he just knows me well. Puts a great game together for me. And like I say, all the, all the coaches, Paul, I'm always learning stuff off Paul, Andrew, all the guys there are phenomenal, man. It's, uh, it's a privilege to be part of the team. Right, let's, let's talk the UFC debut. Obviously, it was a long time coming. It was, you know, a lot of people in the UK have been asking for that for years. Didn't go the way you planned. Me personally, you know, I scored the fight to you. Uh, I think a few other people did as well, but mm -hmm. you can see why the other guy got it as well. Yeah, yeah. well just give us your rundown on it. Listen, I mean, watching it back, <clears throat> It wasn't a great performance by all means. In there, I felt I just felt horrific, man. Like I felt I had a short camp. Um, just UFC jitters are real. Long story short, uh, just didn't feel feel, feel comfortable in there. All felt horrific mentally, and it felt like, felt absolutely shocking. Uh, look, watching it back, it didn't look that bad. It wasn't good, but yeah, it just didn't feel right. Uh, it's the first fight I hadn't had Alexis there as well. I felt like that. No disrespect to my, my corner, but I just felt, I felt a bit weird not having him there as well because he does get the best out of me. Um, you know what, it was my fault I didn't perform. I didn't perform, that was it. Short camp, like I said, I took it all very short notice. I was on holiday, I mean, getting married and stuff. Took the fight, come back, probably had like three weeks proper training. But, you know, if I turned that down, would I go in the USC? I don't know. So it's not, I wasn't in a position to say no. Do you know what I mean? So I knew what I was putting myself in for. Uh, and, I, and I felt all right in the camp. I didn't feel great, but I felt all right. And then on fight night, just, yeah, USC jitters are real, man. Just went inside myself. Uh, didn't perform. Um, but, you know, you learn from everything. And uh, from that, I definitely grow mentally. I feel in a good place mentally for this fight. Uh, come around. You know, I wanted to, when you want something for so long, I wanted that fight for 11 years fighting the UFC. And when you get it, you know what I mean? Just uh, chokes a little bit, but um, I'm ready now. It's just another fight, man. Yeah, it's on the biggest stage in the world, but it's just another fight. And I'm ready to go and throw down in Brazil. What's the difference mindset wise? So you've also got that over and done with. You know, you know, you know, you sort of know where you fell short last time. What's the difference this time going in? What, what's the mind state sort of? Mindset with this one's kill or be killed. Um, literally, I feel, obviously, look, man, fucking things change on the day. But right now, in the whole camp, obviously, I'm going. All, I'm not going out right way to lose. I'm going to win. But I'm fearless of defeat. I'm not going to. I feel like I hesitated in my last fight. I'm not going to hesitate. I'm going to get to work, and uh, and take that risk. You know, what I mean, you can't be a safe fighter in the UFC. I'm going to go and fight. Take a risk. Win or lose, man. I'm going to win, but I'm fearless of defeat. So I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to hesitate. I'm not going to fuck up again. I'm going to, going to fight and uh, kill or be killed, man. In my opinion, I think, you know, sort of a happy... I've known you a while now. You look sort of really content within, you know, within your sort of training and with yourself. I think going in there with that sort of mind state is going to only see the best... 100%. The 100%. Definitely. Uh, so let's talk a bit more specifically about Chagas. So, you know, he had, I think the last fight I seen him, it was Eric Silva, where Eric Silva took his back to him, but my opinion is a bit of a banger. Yeah. What, what do you see him as? Yeah, same. Got a good power on the feet. Uh, big lad. Um, awkward, you know, South Pole Orthodox. Strong legs. Just, yeah, dangerous fighter, man. Do you know what I mean? Um, got a fight of the night in his last fight. He comes to fight. You know, he's a very go-forward fighter. Honestly and truly, you know what I mean? If I rock up and perform and he rocks up and performs, it's a great fight. It's a great fight. I think we, I think we, I think we meet and have a ding dong, and it should be it should be a uh, should be good fun, man. Do you know what I mean? If it goes if it goes well, we're gonna go go for it. And uh, I think yeah, on paper, man, it's gonna be a good fight. I think he's a, he's a good fighter. There's no there's no one shit in the USC. Do you know what I mean? 
Uh, and you can't underestimate no one. Everyone's capable of beating everyone on the day. But um, I think this has got the. If it goes right, if it, you know, if it goes out, I'm dreaming about it, and when I find myself thinking about it, if it goes how I expect it to go. It should be, it should be a good fucking laugh. Yeah, it should be good fun. <laughs> it should be good.